Okay, I got my Christmas order in from Dick Flick. I used some money that my dad and stepmother gave me. And I ordered some pens and pencils and stuff. I thought I'd unbox it real quick. Okay. Ooh, oh no. Oh, not good. Not good at all. It seems as though my order has spilled out. The contents are everywhere. But you know what? It is still fresh. It looks like it just happened. I'm going to see if I can put it back in the jar. I got some... Oh god, what a mess. This is Core Cold Press Ground. It is everywhere. It is everywhere. I don't know why that's not sealed up better. I don't know if maybe that's usually stuff like that is very well sealed. I've never had a problem with Dick Flip before with any of their stuff. Gosh, that is everywhere. I don't know if I'll be able to clean that up. Okay, so I also got this set. It is a Prismacolor Premier. It's the 72 color pencils, and it came with a portfolio, which is hopefully not damaged. Oh, yeah, it's double wrapped, so that should be good. Okay. I also got this that is very much wrapped in oh my goodness this is disgusting um repetograph this rapid draw is their black india ink and i got a pen cleaner for my repetograph pens and this didn't stay in the box but i got i needed some more ice cream because i use this a lot the um, hold on acrylic wash and then this is where the rest of my cold press ground went is on my Stabilo markers or uh, fine liners I don't think I'm able to get most of this off and it is still usable so I'll probably call them either way and let them know that leaked but I'm not going to raise cane about it. No sense in doing that. I don't know what happened to anyone else though. So. But it's, uh, apparently it's just happened. But anyway, there's my nicely covered Stabilo fine liners. And my nicely covered fingers. Yeah, this is a hot mess here. Okay, so I've cleaned my mess up. This is the Core Cold Press Ground by Golden. And I was just really interested in this because it is supposed to um, create a handmade paper like surface. Um, and it, well, it has done a really good job of doing that all over my hands. I could probably uh, watercolor paint on my fingers. But I didn't, even though a lot of it spilled out, I, I didn't lose a whole lot. So anyway, I'm looking forward to testing this out. And then I also got for my um, Rapidograph pens, I got the Black India ink. Um, I have a, it's some kind of media ink, transmedia, something like that, and I love the ink and it's really smooth, but the problem with it is that it is not waterproof. So I, oh, I would like something I would be able to um, draw with and then come in with watercolor details or um, water-based marker details, um, and this will do the job. 
and uh, we'll definitely need a cleaning kit for it now and this is the pen cleaning kit for my pen and um, open it upside down because the other side has that stuff all over it but it comes with what do they call this I call it a poofy thing um, a syringe cleaner I would call it a poofy thing because it poofs but anyway it's a bulb syringe cleaner for pushing um, it'll push that fluid you suck the fluid up and it pushes the fluid through the pen uh, I've not used their pen cleaner before but I will try it out it's a cleaning solution for technical pens and airbrushes and calligraphy pens so um, I look forward to having a professional uh, cleaning solution for my pens because I've been using Dawn mixed with hot soap, uh, mixed with hot water and um, Windex. That's what I've been using, and it also comes with a key for the pens because it has to have this little key to open the pen. All right, so that's that. And then the packaging for these were t was totally destroyed, but this is the um, Stabilo um, .88 uh, fine liner, and it comes in. Um, I've got the set of 30 colors. This has the neons in it as well. I've tried the Sadler fine liners, and it seemed like they they kind of remind me of. Um, flare pens you know they bleed a little bit into the paper and I didn't like that very much so I'm hoping these don't bleed as much and then I'll get a more detailed line out of them I'm looking forward to playing with these and I think my daughter is too she was um, trying to get into them a minute ago and this was my biggest purchase it was um, $60 and let's see, I think so. Yeah, sixty seventy three. And I love Dick Blick. I placed my order. I placed my order on the twenty sixth, and I got it on today is the thirtieth. So I usually, but what I do is I use the coupon code. Um, I look it up on Retail Me Not and I get the um, coupon code that is 25% off and it's not off the entire thing it's off of it only applies to, to it applies to most things but if there's a really good sale on an item it's not going to apply um, so it gives you 25% off on most of your purchase and then free shipping if it's over um, $99 and so I just try to spend $99 or more and um, so I can get free shipping and then I add the FedEx shipping which ends up being $3 so I do pay $3 for shipping but I get it in four days and that's amazing so I've got some Prismacolor pens and the reason why I got these is that I'm working um, in the book um, Beautiful Faces by Jane Davenport. So I'm, I've got that book and I'm working on some of the faces in there and I am um, I want to do some of the exercises with color pencil and I used to have a really good set of color pencils and I ended up giving them away because I didn't use them very much. I used pen all the time and now I'm a color girl. I want to use color, color, color. Not just black ink on white paper. So, uh, and I'm kind of a supply junkie too. I've got it bad. So this is what I got. It's the 72 Prismacolor Premier colored pencil package and it comes with this paper and some tips and techniques to help you along your color pencil journey and then it has three of these trays I'm not convinced I'm going to keep the trays I'm not I think I might just pile them all in there I don't know I don't know how I'm going to do it but anyway lovely 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 
So anyway, yes, lots of gorgeous, gorgeous colors. I really love Prismacolor. I think that's just nice. Like creamy texture to them. It's just really so smooth. Um, I look forward to playing with these. Mixing some colors around and I'll probably end up getting an alcohol colorless blender to blend the colors a little bit as well. I had one and I gave it to my niece with her color pencils I got her for Christmas. So color pencils, yes, I'm very, very excited about those and I'm excited really uh, for this cold press ground um, just to see if it's going to look like handmade paper. Um, there is another golden product and Jane Davenport uses it in her book and that's why I wanted to get it but they didn't have it on Dick Blick and I was ordering anyway so I thought I would try this and then try to get that other one later on too it is um, I think it is fiber paste I think is what it's called and I think it's probably going to have more of a it's probably going to absorb a little bit more than this does because I've seen videos of this and it can be very smooth and I can just feel it on my hand. It just seems, doesn't seem as absorbent, but I would like to do a comparison of the two. Uh, I contemplated getting some of the core watercolors, but you know what? I have watercolors that I don't use. So I was like, what's the point in getting even because I wanted the high chroma set which I, I might get eventually one day, but I mean, I have a whole set of watercolors. They're the Koi watercolors that I don't use right now. Um, and it just didn't make any sense to me to try a product that I know I'm, that I'm probably not going to use very frequently. Like these, the gouache, uh, this uh, Cryola gouache, I love it. I use it all the time. I have a book just for my gouache. So... I know I'll use this and I use it in other books too so I know I'll use these this is a good investment and I have a whole I have a whole drawer of these over here this is my the Carla Quash and they're about they come out to about five dollars a tube this one when I bought it this is 509. Sometimes I can get them for about 450 a tube through Dick Blick if I buy several of them at once and use a discount. But um, they are worth it to me, especially working on um, small paper. Uh, if I were to do a canvas, I wouldn't waste my time with little tubes like these, unless I did an 8x10 or something like that. But. Working in a book, these are perfect. The perfect size, um, the perfect. I, I love the colors. I love the texture. Uh, it has a matte finish, and instead of gouache, like gouache will flake if you layer it. This doesn't flake. Um, it has an acrylic binder to it, and so it ends up having the most lovely matte texture, which is great for my journals. But it also um, it also doesn't flake like a gouache maybe would if you layered it too much. So love 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 those. 